Intense thunderstorms are making their way to the Atlantic Ocean tonight, but not before causing quite a disturbance in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic states. Good evening and welcome to this edition of Weatherscope. I'm Mike Seidel. Jeff Morrow has been keeping a close eye on the severe weather, and he joins us now from the Forecast Center with more. Jeff? All right, thanks, Mike. Indeed, we have another big batch of severe weather moving through the Northeast. The good news at this hour is that it looks like a lot of the storms, particularly in New England down to about Long Island and New York, uh, have diminished in intensity south of there in New Jersey and along the Chesapeake Bay and moving over to the eastern shore of Maryland and Delaware. Uh, things still could get a little bit dicey as we head on through the evening hours. But earlier in Massachusetts, we had some really heavy downpours and some gusty winds. These shots taken near Lemister, Massachusetts. This is just north of Worcester. Uh, very heavy rain, blinding rains at time, also gusty winds causing some tree damage and also some power lines being knocked out from time to time as well. Uh, a lot of folks without power in this area, but it does look like the, the worst may be over for uh, Fitchburg and Lemister and that vicinity. Now earlier, if you look on this particular radar, looks like a big cluster of red about ready to crash into Boston, but as we'll see in a moment, that actually is a little bit of a false return, and things have quieted down a bit. But you can see the big line of showers and thunderstorms here. I'm drawing where the front is. There's a little wave of low pressure right along it, and that is kind of slowing down this whole area of rain. So maybe our main threat, particularly in New England now, may be some flooding problems, some localized flooding problems, as these storms move over the same areas time after time. Cooler air coming in behind this system, drier air too. You can see how the clouds are starting to break up just a bit back toward Pittsburgh, Erie, Cleveland, and Detroit. Now out ahead of this system, strong southerly winds are still helping to feed up a fair amount of moisture, helping to feed the storms, and also helping to uh, maybe bring us some locally heavy rain. Again, ahead of this low pressure area, southerly winds, very moist, juicy air. But it looks like as these storms have progressed toward the east, they have started to diminish. That's why we've pretty much backed off now the area of um, severe weather. We don't have the darker red shading there in southeast New England, including Boston, Providence, and Hartford. But anywhere from about Long Island, particularly here in southern Jersey, all the way south along the Chesapeake Bay area and down into the rest of southeast Virginia, down toward the Tidewater, that's where we're going to be looking at the possibility of still some severe weather. Indeed, there are severe thunderstorm watches, I believe. One of these watches has just expired. We'll have to double check on that for you, but uh, we may be down to one watch now. Uh, there are other watches out here through parts of Kansas and uh, into Arkansas as well. And we're talking, uh, we're going to have uh, Mike Seidel talking about that severe weather in just a moment. Let's talk a little bit now about uh, where some of the heavier thunderstorms are. As I mentioned, at least for Boston, Providence, Hartford, it looks like the storms just before they're getting into those areas have really started to die down just a bit. We can go to a close-up radar in that vicinity. And indeed, no, remember on the other radar satellite composite, there was that big area of red here. In fact, you can see it here at the beginning. It's pretty much gone now, and all we have is a lot of green, but notice that it's moving over the same areas here time after time after time, moving along where I've drawn that arrow. That means we could be talking about some flooding problems anywhere west of Hartford, Springfield, Worcester. Looks like Boston, you may escape as far as any uh, severe thunderstorms. Providence as well. You're still fairly dry, at least in the uh, downtown areas of those cities, but again, the rain will be moving in. It'll just take a little bit longer big line of intense thunderstorms moved right through New York and has pretty much fizzled now. Still looks like a couple of bigger cells there on the eastern end of Long Island Sound and south of New York City, but the biggest storms are just east of Trenton and also just across the Chesapeake Bay from the Baltimore area. I think we can get a little bit of a better perspective of some of these storms up here at the top of the screen. Now moving into Cecil County as well as on down into Kent County and eventually Queen Anne's County here along the eastern shore. So we'll watch those as well as the storm south of Washington back toward Charlottesville and Lynchburg headed on down toward the Richmond area. So there is some good news. In the and the Oregon. storms now cruising across the Chesapeake Bay from Elkton over into a Cecil County in the northern counties of the Maryland and Delaware eastern shore area. William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Pay-per-view makes it easy to bring it home. New York Times spreads the news like a creature crawling out from the muck. Mystery Science Theater 3000 has staggered back to life. Hey, out of my way, air sucker. Mystery Science Theater 3000, only on the Sci-Fi Channel. 4 p.m. and 11 p.m. Eastern, Sci-Fi Saturday. Oh, 
Uh, of all the cable joints in the universe, we had to land on this one. We'll always have Comcast cable. This is your local forecast. Weather information you can plan on. Only on the Weather Channel. channel your local forecasts. Intense thunderstorms are making their way to the Atlantic Ocean at this hour, but not before causing quite a disturbance in the Northeast and Middle Atlantic states this afternoon and now this evening. Good evening and welcome to this edition of Weatherscope. I'm Mike Seidel. Jeff Morrow has been keeping a close eye on the severe weather, and he joins us now from the Forecast Center with more. Jeff? That's right, Mike, and we may be shifting our emphasis a little bit with these thunderstorms in the Northeast. Earlier, as you mentioned, lots of reports of wind damage, a lot of trees down, a lot of power outages, reports of hail, some damage, a lot of lightning strikes. Now it appears that maybe the heavy rain is going to be a problem, particularly for parts of central and southern New England. Let's show you what it looked like. A, for instance, this is in Lemister, Massachusetts, which is well northwest of Boston. Rain coming down in sheets here, and I got to tell you something. These pictures were shot earlier this afternoon. It is still raining around the Lemister and Fitchburg areas. And it's more than just ponding on some of the roads now. I would suspect that there might be some at least minor flooding going on in that part of Massachusetts. Let's go ahead and put this on into motion. And you can see kind of a, a lining up here of the precipitation. There is a front here, but what is happening is this whole front's kind of stalled out because a wave of low pressure has developed along the front. You can see some drier air trying to punch in through the Great Lakes, an absence of clouds there, a lot of low-level moisture 
feeding into this whole system and the net result, a lot of heavy rain here where I've circled from southern New England now getting into northern New Jersey and some thunderstorms with still the potential for gusty winds and hail and lightning anywhere from central Jersey all the way down along the Chesapeake Bay. There it is graphically represented and it's this low which is holding up this front right now or else the front would pretty much blast right offshore. But until this low kind of moves up along the front and gets out of the way, we're going to continue to get this rain moving over the same areas. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. The severe weather threat as far as very gusty winds, well over 55 to 60 miles an hour potentially, a large hail over an inch in diameter, and lots of lightning. That primarily now is from Jersey, central New Jersey, all the way down through Delaware, Maryland, and parts of central and southeastern Virginia. And indeed, there still is a severe thunderstorm watch out for many of those areas I just mentioned, including Atlantic City, the south side of Philly, definitely Wilmington and Dover, Delaware, uh, just east of Baltimore and D.C., and uh, not quite down to the Norfolk area in Virginia, but uh, some big storms may head there a little bit later on tonight. Now, as I mentioned, the biggest threat apparently now for New England is going to be the heavy rains. And we can go ahead and take a look at a radar. This is a, a regular radar. I'm going to show you a Doppler in just a moment. But notice the yellows and oranges starting to show up here. And notice how the rain isn't moving eastward very quickly. It's more or less moving northeasterly. And it is just now getting into the Boston area. Still dry in Providence. It's been raining pretty hard now around Hartford. Looks like a little cluster of thunderstorms right down along the shore of Long Island Sound. But the main threat here is going to be flooding. And you can see that there are flood watches out here. That's the darker green shading from southern New Hampshire into west central Massachusetts and extreme northern areas of Connecticut. Now let's show you the Doppler radar now. And what this is showing, this isn't uh, actual radar echo returns. What it is doing is it's adding up the rainfall totals. The new Doppler 88D radars have this capability of actually estimating how, by the intensity of the rain, how much is accumulated. And indeed, some of these areas up here in New Hampshire, southern areas of Maine and all the way into western Massachusetts, anywhere from two to five inches of rain have fallen. Also a cluster of very heavy So those rain. splash flood watches are well warranted in that area. We're going to have to watch that closely as we head on through the evening hours. Still some very heavy rain now moving up to the south side of New York City, down to just east of Philly, and big clusters of storms now moving over uh, the eastern shore of Maryland, getting on over toward Delaware Bay. And our last radar stop shows us big storms southeast of Washington down toward the Potomac River, the mouth of the Potomac and where I've circled there, just northwest of Richmond. Watch out, Richmond. These storms are headed in your direction. Looks like a big storm right on the Bay Bridge. Not a good time to be driving there. And some of these big storms may make it over to Dover and eventually even down toward Ocean City and Salisbury, Maryland as well. Watch it. Here it comes. Right there. Did you see that lightning hit that Jeep? Fortunately, no one was hurt, but again, a lot of lightning.